Developed by the DeBeaumont Foundation and designer Adam Judge, the Journal of Public Health Management and Practice and JPHMP Direct offers an e-learning module tool called Writing in Boxes for Scientific Journals. You can find this module at jphmpdirect.com forward slash e-learning dash module forward slash. In scientific writing, the common organization structure is IMRAD, known as the Introduction, Methods, Results, and Discussion. The Writing in Boxes module is conveniently split up into these four sections, with step-by-step -step instructions for how to approach and write each part. Each of the four sections is set up in a similar way. Let's take a look at the introduction. On the left-hand side of the screen, you will see the menu, where you can individually click on any part highlighted in gray when the mouse cursor moves over it. You can also move through the module by finding the previous and next buttons located to the bottom right of the screen. Again, each of the four sections of the module is set up in a similar way. You will begin by writing your name in the box shown here, so that when you print your responses at the end of each section, your name will be included on the printed document. Next, there will be some guidelines to instruct you on the basic components for each section. The module will then continue by going step by step through the section. So for example, the fifth step we see here for the introduction is to describe the study approach. If we take a look at this article published in JPHMP called Cost Effectiveness of Community-Based Mini-Grants to Increase Physical Activity in Youth, we can see that the study approach is shown here, starting with the purpose of the current study. And this is exactly what we would write in the Writing in Boxes tutorial. Again, we would write our response for each of the steps shown in the menu. Each module concludes with reviewing the responses we wrote for each step. There will be some helpful tips for you to double check your work. At the end of the module, you will review all of your answers together and then you can click Print Save so that you can document each section that you have completed. One thing to keep in mind is that the module produces a PDF format. So to further edit your work, right-click anywhere on the page and choose Save As, and this will be saved as a web page complete, which you can then open up in Microsoft Word. Since the module does not include a feature that would enable you to cite as you write, you may consider manually adding references after importing the document into Microsoft Word. You can make a compiled list of your sources at the end, and reference softwares like EndNote and RefWorks can make this process easier. Let's go back to the main page. If you only partially completed the steps, you can always exit out and resume your work at a later point. Your responses will be automatically saved, so that the next time you click on a section, it will ask you if you would like to resume where you left off. To work on a different section, such as the methods, you would need to go back to the original page where you access the module. The methods section is where you want to describe what methods you used to address the study question with your who, what, when, and where. A critical step often overlooked is to include whether your study required IRB approval or whether this was waived. If we look at this article, we can see that in the methods section under data collection, it explicitly mentions that all procedures were approved by the University and Medical Center Institutional Review Board at East Carolina University. The results section is where you want to present the findings of your research using figures, tables, and statistical analysis. You do not interpret anything here. That is saved for the discussion section. For example, in the step where you present results of analyses done, you might describe your tables and figures in the order in which you will have them in the paper. The results section of the paper we looked at previously starts off by describing information listed in Table 1 and then in Table 2 and references these at the end. We can see some statistical results mentioned here, with the median and interquartile range given, 
which we can find the details of by going to Table 1. Last is your discussion, where you will summarize the study's findings, compare your results with those previously reported in the literature, describe the implications and limitations of your study, and provide recommendations for future research. Again, your responses will be automatically saved as you move through the module, and you can print what you've written by clicking the Overall Review option. That concludes this tutorial for the module Writing in Boxes for Scientific Journals, brought to you by the Journal of Public Health Management and Practice and JPHMP Direct. Stay tuned for new resources made available at jphmpdirect.com.